Hi, I'm the Space Quest historian. Let's talk about Space Quest 6, because I'll bet there's a sentence you don't hear every day. Uh, let's just get into the game and... Oh shit, uh, can't find 999.pal resource. Uh, hang on, maybe the uh, maybe the batch file is broken. Let's just uh, let's just try the exe execute. Nope, still 999.pal resource. Can't find that. Okay, hang on, maybe I just didn't mount the CD-ROM properly, or you know what? Let's just try the uh, the GOG version instead. Here, here's the GOG version. Let's just run that. And god damn it. Nine, oh yeah, even <laughs> even when I was recording this, holy shit. Okay, so if you can't get Space Quest 6 to run, if it's giving you a lot of grief, don't ask me how, but if you launch it with the parameter O, uh, it just sort of works. <laughs> I don't know. This is, uh, this is the GOG version, and if you want to run that in DOSBox, then uh, just type Sierra, uh, and a space, and a dash, and O, and then the fucking thing runs. Uh, the GOG version, uh, w when you just launch it out of the box, it'll open up Scum VM. But if you want to run it in DOSBox for reasons I will get into, uh, then just launch it with the O parameter. As you can see, I don't have any save games for Space Quest 6. And if I want to show you this thing that the title of this video is teasing you, then I'll have to play through all the poly sword base. Eight bits. I'll have Energy. to mess with the oh god the endo droid. I have to freeze his ass, and then I have to get kidnapped. And I have to mess with the data quarter. Oh, because the Easter egg is all the way aboard the deep ship in in eight rear in in the little bar. So you know what? You know what? Fuck this noise. I, actually, no. Wait, wait, wait. There, there's always time for. <laughs> Funny every time. Okay, so now we can quit the game. And I think we'll just use ye olde debug. I, th I think I've explained this one in a, in a previous video, but just briefly, uh, what you want to do is just take an empty text document and save that into your Space Quest directory as classes. Uh, it's going to pretend it's a text file. You want to remove that extension there. So it just says classes. There we go. And when you launch uh, Space Quest 6 now, it'll bring up this lovely debug window that lets you teleport to anywhere in the game. And we want to go to the Deep Ship 86 and we want to go to 8 Rear. So here we go. Ah, gotta love the debug. Okay, so what we want to do is mess with the nebula here in the background. Uh, and for years and years, uh, ever since the mid 90s, in fact, when I wrote the Space Quest FAQ, I was told that there was an Easter egg in this nebula that would uh, let it color cycle. And I never got it to work. In fact, when I played Space Quest VI for my Ultimate Space Quest playthrough, I still hadn't gotten it to work. Now, for years and years, there was this uh, rumor that if you control clicked on the nebula in the background for a long while, it would start color cycling. I could never get this to work. Uh, someone also said that you had to look at it uh, 7 million times for it to start color cycling. It doesn't actually do that. A peaceful. Never got that to work. So it wasn't until very, very recently that a friend on the SQH Discord, Samuel, actually went in and found the Nebula Easter egg hotspot. Turns out there's a very specific hotspot you have to click on this nebula in order to get it to color cycle. Have you seen it yet? Okay, if you haven't, let me blow it up for you. Okay, now you see, now you see the absolute pinprick of a hotspot that you have to click the hand cursor on five times in order to get the nebula to color cycle. Okay, are we ready? I have heard rumors of this easter egg since I was a wee lad of 16 or 17 years of age and now 40 years old, well going on anyway, I finally get to see this easter egg in action. Are you ready? Cause I fucking am. Here we go. Oh wait, that was it? Hang on, let's see that again. Look, 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 look. 
quadruple thick plasto steel window is cold to the touch. Okay. Well, it does what it says on the tin, I guess. You click on it five times with the hand icon and it, um, it color cycles. It, it actually does. Okay. I, I don't know what I was expecting. Let's, let's see if it works with any of the other icons. Uh, the walk cursor. Doesn't seem to do anything. I'm just hammering the fucking left mouse button at this point. Uh, nope, nothing. Let's uh, try the eyes. Oh, it's got that long-winded uh, dialogue exchange going on here. No, that's that's five times. That's, that didn't work. And mouth. No, no, no. It only works with the hand icon. Okay, so well, uh, God, let's see how many years. Let's just uh, let's just be on the safe side and say I was 17. And it's 2020 today, so... Yeah, I had to Google that. That's uh, that's 23 years ago. So, um, uh, 23 years I've waited to see that. And, uh, well, I don't know about you, but holy shit, I am flabbergasted. I'm enriched. Uh, there are things in my life that matter less now that I have seen this absolute marvel. Uh, but yeah, uh, so, so this brings an end to, uh, for me, 23-year-old mystery. The Easter egg does indeed exist. It does indeed make the Nebula color cycle. And uh, it sort of amazes nice. me that I had to wait this long to see it. I hope it was as riveting for you as it was for me to see this, but um, I think that's all the Easter eggs in Space Quest VI that have been found. I think. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll bet there's something lurking in there that no one's found yet, but uh, there are a lot of things lurking in Space Quest VI. I believe I did a podcast episode on that. I'll link that in the uh, video description below. But anyway, I think I've rambled hey, enough. Um, we've got more videos like this coming, uh, more stuff that we've uh, delved into uh, the underlying code of the game's more secrets of Space Quest coming up. So um, yeah, stick around for those. And until next time, I will see you around the Chrono stream. Bye.